Welcome to another episode of Two Ales and Hockey Tales with Wally. And today, I'm so excited to have on a 35-year-old from Amo, Quebec, Canada. His hockey journey has taken him to Canada, the USA, England, and Scotland. A staple of the Amo Forestiers and Acadie Bathurst Titans, where he had 50 goals and a 100-point season. Found a home with the Florida Everblades, where he one season was an ECHL first-team All-Star with the most goals and points in the league. Also, one time a Kelly Cup champion with salts and had to celebrate, I'm assuming, at the Lonnie Kai. He then became the <laughs> king of Sheffield, two times first and one time second team all-star. Most goals, most points, forward and player of the year. The year I was in the league. <clears throat> Playoff <laughs> champion and two-time league champion and is now coaching and running amok with the Glasgow clan. Welcome to the shed, Matthew Walk. Hey, man. How you doing? Good. Nice Good to, to meet to you. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. Yeah. Thanks for making the time for me. No um, problem. Um, so I get into how we know each other. It is awfully early here today. <laughs> <laughs> But I got to work today, so we got to get this in there, you know? Sounds good. Sounds the, pe- good. the people want you. I, I, <laughs> I was told. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. That's yeah. Good thing. Sheffield, Glasgow, uh, Florida, Jeepers. Yep. Um, okay, so, yeah, we've never spoke, but rumor has it, I have now have shirts that say legs and eggs on them. Rumor has yeah, it you were the captain of the Florida Everblades and hosted a legs and eggs rookie party for Matt Crew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah the, the rumor of truth uh, i think they still i think they're still doing it uh still this day and uh i think we started my first i think it was matt marquardt my buddy matt uh we had the idea that uh, why not stop there on the way to the, the beach and uh <laughs> so, you, so, so, you, so you hit lottie the, you hit legs and eggs and the lottie kai in one day yeah yeah it's a full day it's a what full a day, day. <laughs> what a day <laughs> great it's a great day for a rookie, for sure. Oh, <laughs> it's, I think not, I, it's not as bad, yeah. Yeah, that, it sounds like a great time. Um, <laughs> exactly. Sounds, it sounds right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, sounds great that they're still doing it. Hockey's hockey. Yeah, right? no, it's good. It's been no, over 10 years. They've been doing it every year. So uh, it, I think it's a great tradition. They always wait in March, too, during spring break over there. And people wonder to, why uh, the Everblades are always good, right? And it's because. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. Fun. They They have fun. They have fun every day. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite the spot i played them in the semis my one year in the coast yeah, there. Okay. and uh when i got to see how people lived there and i was living in daytona beach ohio yeah i know <laughs> it was a totally different experience that they're having <laughs> i bet yeah so you guys won the east coast um with yeah. florida and that's with salt yeah. and uh bobby ray a former shed yeah player. Yeah, 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 Bobby Ray. Yeah, no, we uh we keep in touch with all the guys. So I think uh, this year will be ten years since we won the cup, and uh, we're gonna try to get a little get together in the summer, uh, try to bring all the boys together because I think there's still some guys that are still playing around. So uh, well, that's uh, what you're that. doing, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it'd be fun Please. to see everyone. I've seen you play before, sir. Um... I thought I well, we play against each other, right? Wow, well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've seen how hard you play. So, you know, your body must be hurting a bit by now. Yeah, well, uh, I, maybe I don't play as much as hard I used to be, but I'm 35 now. But I think at the year off I took was the great, uh, greatest thing I could have done uh, for so mentally. What, for my what body, happened there? You know? What happened there? Uh, there's a lot of things happen. I had a great offer for a job back home. Uh, I took it. And uh, I think at that time it was the right time, the right time to, to quit hockey, to retire from hockey for me. I, um, I wanted to start a family. My do- my daughter, we want to give birth back in the U.S. and Canada and all that things. And uh, for me, it was a time to do it. And uh, yeah, after a year was enough. <laughs> was enough so uh um i i, I understand I, man like i uh yeah. when i was done you know that first year she's uh not everything yeah, she's tough man it's, oh, diff- it's different yeah. yeah it is yeah so yeah. i was lucky enough to be able to come back and uh, i'm pretty happy because now my my daughter is here and she can come around and see me play and uh and she's that's come, why i'm still playing get to come in the locker room after the game a bit and exactly. like load on exactly. the ice exactly yeah yeah it's 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 a big part of the game right now that's why i'm playing yeah I, 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 those are memories I'll cherish forever was having my son out on the ice and my daughter. Yeah. Good times. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, exactly. How old's your daughter? She, uh, she's turning three in like in 20 days. So, uh, 
She's still, yeah. Three yeah. years old. She'll be uh, three. So my, it's a good, good age right now. Yeah. My son was three when we finished in Cardiff and uh, okay. good, good times. Good times. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So obviously then when you won the Kelly cup, not uh, just, I just had it written down here, but you guys did celebrate at the Lonnie Kai. That's one of my, uh, yeah. one of my honey holes. I really enjoy a day at the Lonnie Kai too. Yeah. 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 No, it, it, it's a great spot, spot for everyone that come down. And uh, like I said, we, uh, we want it so at the end of the year. It's, it's always back there, you know. Like everyone knows about it. And uh, we're they actually the funny story is like we were told that if we were going to win, uh, we were supposed to go on a cruise or uh, in Miami. But the owner, yeah, the the I don't know what happened, but the the owner that didn't came true. So we're like, well, what what are we gonna do? And people are like, no one's gonna know who we are in Miami, you know, like the Kelly Cup. What's that, you know? So we just went to the old Lani Kai and we got the owner credit card for three days and party people, it up. people know you at the Lonnie Kai. They, exactly. Right? Exactly. You're on the beach in Fort Myers and we had the cup there and uh, people were coming around and that was pretty fun. Well, I was at the Lonnie Kai with a cup too. It was the Narch roller hockey championship. Oh yeah. Yeah. I know about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I went there when I was at Western Michigan, me and a couple of my roommates and then a few of their buddies from their hometown, we all went to, the Lonnie Kai and stayed there yeah. and played a roller yeah. tournament and actually won it. It was a mess. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, we yeah. Act, we acted like we won the Stanley Cup that night. At <laughs> well, well, why not? Yeah. Well, the security guards let everything go on. It was wild. Yeah, that's good. Wild times. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, random question for me. Do you think Jeff Leguiz, number 11, should be retired in Sheffield? Yeah, of course. Yeah, me too. I think he will too, yeah. Yeah, I think on episode 200 with David Sims, when I get to 200, I think I'll announce it on there, but I'm not pressuring you, Dave. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I think they will. I think they will. You deserve it. Yeah, I agree, but that's weird. There's already a number 11 retired. Strange things. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's special, though. It's going to happen. The only other thing I had written down for how we know each other was then that my years in the EIHL were against you, and um, Mm -hmm. I guess we lost by two points to you guys both years. So that was way, wild. That was wild. I way remember. to go. Yeah, yeah. Way to go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Last game, right? Last game for us at home. That's why it, that's why game. it took me till almost an episode 130 to reach out because I just wasn't ready to talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, especially for what it was your first time here, too. It was crazy the way that all it looks like it was a game seven, right? You know, every serious, every but... game we played each other though was like yeah. it was like both te- other than the night after the challenge cup when when we were um, out of steam, you could say. And you yeah, 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 yeah. But every game we played each other was like a full it's out bad. war, you know? Oh, no, it's crazy. Yeah. I, rem- I remember my first game in this league was in Cardiff when I walked in that that ring and knowing the big that blue you guys. Tent. Oh, yeah. man. That was something else. But And then we yeah. had the, we had but, big boys on our team. Oh, it was, it was scary, man. It was scary. You guys were. <laughs> no, people <laughs> have sure. been scared of me before. There's no doubt. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god but you had that 40 with you you guys were quite the pair yeah. that guy could yeah. skate around real fast and make good passes and get it to the net and you were going to the net and i yeah whatever you guys no, won was, by two he, points i'll pump your tires whatever you're the best <laughs> you're the best net front player i've yeah. ever seen in my life uh, I, no, I couldn't imagine you. being on a power play with you my god hey. No, it was, a, it was a good time, especially those first few years, especially when you got D-man that uh, you connect well with them, right? When you play in front of net and you well, just look at... The ones I remember, you'd be standing there in front. You're not right on the goalie like some guys are. Like, your ass yeah. isn't right on them sometimes. You're a little bit out. And then yeah. you'd be... some The like D-man would take you down or you'd be falling and you'd still somehow, like, knock it back door yeah. to the guy to tap it in. Shit bothered yeah. me from the bench. I wasn't allowed to. Play <laughs> especially when you kill. Yeah, especially when you kill, right? <laughs> yeah, Lordo didn't like my killing ability, no. so I didn't get to do it. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, no, I don't know. I always watch power plays because that's what you know. That was my thing. And yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, no, it's good. You got to be willing to do it, and you got to want to do it, right? Yeah, but when you, I, it was fun for me. I, I, I. I love to be in front of that. I love to block shot. It's kind of weird to tell people that, but I, but I do that, love block. The people standing you know? in front of the net love it. Thomas Holmes exactly. from, for the Red Wings loved yeah. it. He's right? a great example for sure. He's a guy that I looked up. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, so. that's definitely uh, 
Yeah, but there's a lot of goals there. I try to tell my kids there, right? We had a day tournament yesterday. Uh, didn't, yeah. re- didn't really go as planned, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it was tough, right? We didn't have a hotel to like relax in. It was just a day tournament. Yeah. You go there and we play a game and then you got like four hours. The kids are ripping around. You can't really like, they're having fun. They haven't got to yeah, see their, exactly. They live in Canada. They're not allowed to see their friends anymore. So, no, um, they, so you got to do it when you can, right? <laughs> exactly. No, that's a, it. Must be tough for your kids right now, for sure. What's going on in Canada? I don't want to get into it. We're not going to get into it, but yeah, uh, <laughs> it was great to be back for a day tournament, and uh, yeah, it's good. We had fun, and um, anyways, guys, love you. You worked hard yesterday. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's good. Yeah. So. I think we're done with how we know each other. Random question mm-hmm. here. Yeah, <laughs> this go ahead. Is from a former teammate. Oh, what is your favorite football team? And we're not talking about North American hand, not hand egg. I think we're talking from- about football or soccer. I have to say Manchester City. That's probably from Tabo, right? It is from Tabo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he, uh, I'm, he, re- he brought me to a few games. It's a great time with him. I miss him every day. You know, he's a great guy, and uh, no, that's that's my team. This is, this is the first team I want to see, and uh, I like to watch them for sure. Yeah. Uh, did it, uh, I know did it? I was. Pre- did, I know I was a question from him. <laughs> yeah, but didn't something just happen with them? Did they have some kind of big game just lately, or no? Uh, they're on top of the league right now. That's all Are I know. I, you know uh, yeah, I don't pay yeah, attention, so. but okay. Yeah. Um, well, shout out to Tomo and uh, yeah, okay. Tomo. Another question here. What is your favorite restaurant post game in Sheffield? Would it be the in Sheffield? Ch- would it be the Chili Banana? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I heard there's some kebabs there. Is that true? Some donuts. Oh yeah, it's a good great spot right next to the apartment there. We used oh. to stop every time. Yeah. Yeah, though nothing better than a kebab after no, a hockey no, match. No. Eh? Exactly. <laughs> or practice. <laughs> what was, what was the other option? Dad? More option I, there. What? Well, that, that, no, he wanted me to ask yeah. if you like the chili okay. banana. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do love the chili banana. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> we still that, talk about it, but then, okay. So what other restaurant in Sheffield do you remember? Uh, we used to go to a place called a smoke a lot. It was a barbecue joint. I, I missed that place. It was good. Yeah. It's weird when you live in cities or towns as a hockey player eh? and you like, there can be restaurants that you just love. And then you never, you never get to go back and you think about it all the time. Yeah. You you try still to find a place like this in Glasgow and I'll never find it. You know, it's it's that one in Sheffield. Sometimes you dream about the food, you know, and then you wake up and you're like, Oh, I don't live there anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) So any good restaurant in Glasgow then that's been, Oh yeah. There's, yeah, there's a few places. I don't ask me for the name. The wife, the wife likes to pick a a place every week. Try. So, uh, there's a lot of option here in Glasgow. It's a great city. Um, I think when I we started following each other there when we set this up, your daughter won mm-hmm. the the jackpot. At, oh yeah, well, was that at just, like a Weatherspoons? Yeah, well, it, there's a water spoon, water spoon right there in the same building. It's right across the rink there. We uh, try to go every Wednesday. It's it looks like it's for her, but it's more for me. I like to play the games, you know. Uh, well, she, there's she, a place she like did that. It. There's a place like that she, at Cardiff where you could. There was oh yeah. There was a little play pen for the little kids. And they could okay. do that, and you get tattoos and whatever. But then oh, you nice, could you nice. could also have pints. <laughs> oh yeah, there's there's everything in that building. So uh, yeah, we like to go on every Fridays and spend a little bit of money in the arcade. But she actually did hit the jackpot with a twenty five p, and she got a, a thousand tickets there. So so what do the thousand tickets get you? Does you get you like uh, a toy or? Yeah, there's plenty of toys there, but she likes her sweets, so mm. give her some sweets, you know. Well, since we're on the <laughs> since we're on the topic, then what's her favorite? Because uh, <laughs> my favorite. Food? No, well, I'm just thinking. Okay, I'm just thinking out loud. We've kind of the shed for some reason has started this chocolate movement in the UK. Yeah. So Cardiff has had Twix for Caruth and Buenos okay. for my boys, my under yeah. eleven team. So they've littered the ice. Sheffield then said, "Hey, we want we want a piece of the action." So then yeah, we said well. Snickers, peanut allergies, you know, can't, yeah, do, you it. can't do that. Can't yeah. do that. You got to think about the folks, people. Kit, <laughs> so then we went with Kit Kats, right? And okay, it really yeah. went well. So, I, you know, I don't know how many of the Purple Army are listening to the shed. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But with, with you on, I think we might get a little, you know, a little shed boost. So yeah. a, any chance you guys want to start something next game? 
When do you play? Yeah, I know it's it's. Uh, we got a game on Wednesday in Cardiff. Actually, we're going there for the first time. But oh. uh, Saturday we're playing at home. Okay, who do you play then? Yeah. Do you know that one? Don't I won't ask the tough questions if you don't know. Oh, know yeah. There's a lot of games in. A I know season. we're playing in. We're playing Sheffield on Sunday, but I can't even think we were playing on Saturday. I think we're playing five. I think or Coventry one well, the I, other. Um. Do you think um what's so what's what's your daughter or your I like a, mar- a good I, I like a good Mars bar. That's, Mars that's what bar? I used to yeah, I used to eat one every after before every game before when I was younger. So Mars for Matthew. Mm-hmm. You know, Maybe. Mars for Matthew, yeah. Glasgow? Yeah. <laughs> Brayhead, whatever you want to be called. Yeah, yeah, Brad does. fans. Yeah. I think we should probably get something started, right? Just Maybe for fun. Try. Because Maybe, what, like fun. Mosey will donate all the Kit Kats to a food bank or whatever. Yeah. And, and we could do the thing. same in Glasgow, right? And that's just people Why helping not? people. Why not? Yeah, exactly. Get some chocolate bar on the ice. What do you, all right, Glasgow, game on. So that gives me <laughs> something to watch on my phone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Makes you got some good, uh, there was a good picture with Max there on Bel- in Belfast. It cracked me up. That kid that uh, Oh, I'll frame the twist. Did you? <laughs> I saw that. You man. saw that? You saw I that? saw that. Oh, uh, great. I got sent that picture like <laughs> mid game, and I was yeah. pissed off because Max, yeah. my buddy, and he had been yeah. pulled. So I was like, ah, and I was pissed off. And then I saw that picture, and I like, I, I did that. Oh, you had to laugh. There, you yeah. have to laugh. And yeah. I, so then I, I sent it to Mosey, and I was like, you see what this kid's doing? I'm like, if that's an adult, he's getting punched in the face. Oh, and, yeah. For sure. And, and Mosey was like, that kid better be careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I was cracking. I was laughing. I was hot. That's a good one. So, hey, folks, folks, folks if moment, you didn't but... see it, Matt Carruth did get pulled. Okay. He did. Wasn't a shed boost. But then a uh, Belfast Giant fan, I'd say about an 11 or 12-year-old, came down with a Twix for him to – that that's just uh, funny, right? And that's the yeah, shed bringing people good. together, right? Exactly, that, exactly. He's not trying to give him a Twix if I'm not out here crushing <laughs> beers. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that was funny stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's good. But anyways, <laughs> bounce back, shootout win the next night, back on track. Yeah, uh, yeah, you did. Yeah, you good know? job. So whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, where and where and what are you doing now? We kind of covered that. You're playing for Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. In Glasgow, it's been, what, two years now? A second. Well, last year we were... Uh, La- last COVID. year you're in the, the last... Southern Professional yeah. Hockey League. Eh? Well, we'll yeah, get well, into I that. Did... Don't... Yeah, we'll yeah, get into that's that. That's fine. We'll get into that. Yeah, no, I've been in Glasgow. Love it here. You know, uh, starting winning games and... So you have a new get coach this year from the yeah. last time. Yeah, exactly. We had Fitzy the year before. Oh, Fitzy uh, was the I'm... coach. Fitz was a coach. I'm still yeah. trying to coerce him into my shed. He sent out. Yeah, a, yeah, he'd be a good guest for sure. Um, he got some good stories, man. He Real sent good out a tweet to say I did a good job with the other, the clan core from that yeah. year we played against them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tell you, oh, that, yeah. that YouTube video has like 800 views now. Oh, that's fr- good. From his one tweet. It's not about yeah. me. <laughs> there you go. Put him, put him on the podcast. It'd I'm be trying. Good I'm sure. trying to get him in yeah. the shed. I'm trying to lure uh, him. Nice. I don't know what he likes. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so you got a new coach now, though. What's his yeah. name? Malcolm Cameron. Okay, so it's all going yeah. pretty good. You guys, are, you guys had a weird start, right, with the schedule? Yeah, we uh, we started like a almost a month uh, after everyone. So and, and no challenge uh, cup, right? No challenge cup for us this year. I don't think it's a bad thing. I'm not gonna lie to you. Those are kind of extra games that, uh, yeah. Anyway, hey, we were hey, unless month. you win it, unless you win it. Exactly. I'll tell you well when you realize when you lose in the final, you're like, we played like 15 games for no reason right now. You know what I mean? So oh, you're right. I, never, I, I, I find it interesting. Like that there's um, <clears throat> EIHL, no real bonuses for all those extra games you play. And then if you win it, yeah, well, right. Yeah. <laughs> Just talking out loud, but yeah, it makes uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, a lot of games, a lot of games, you know, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys now got to cram a ball in, eh? Um, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, actually, we're caught up. I think we're caught up with everyone right now. Uh, it was a tough stretch for a bit, but uh, okay. I think we're gonna have to play like three three games a week though for the rest of the year. You know, every That's Wednesday, not, Saturday, Sunday. That's not funny. That yeah. takes away from arcade time. Exactly. Well, I saw my Friday night, so I, I still can be able to go. Yeah. Okay. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you're a coach now too. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm helping Malcolm from uh, whatever, sometimes morning skates and things like that. Try to go on the ice with the guys, try to show uh, younger guys and get not, on the ice. Are you teaching young guys how to stand in front of the net like you do? Uh, no, yeah, I should, actually. I should. We should practice that. It'd be a good thing, you know? To be honest, yeah. I, uh, I don't think it's really, like, something you can teach. I, I You can teach them where to stand and how to stand, but – yeah. I truly think the reason you were so good at it was because you wanted to win more than the defenseman you were going against in front of yeah. the net. And yeah, you that's a good care, like I could tell how badly you wanted to win playing against you. And it worried me. It kind of like when I saw the clan and they had tough guys, they had scores and they were also like a real team. When I saw yeah. you guys in Sheffield, I'm like, wow, they are really competitive. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I do it all. Well, that's the reason why I still play too. I told him about my daughter, but I just love to score goals. That's uh, the minute I won't be enjoying scoring goals. I won't play hockey, but right now scoring goals, that's, that's what I like and winning games. So uh, it's, uh, like, it's like watching my under 11s, right? It's like watching my kids yeah. when they score a goal, how excited they get. But then it's like, even everybody on the team, how like just scoring a goal, like the, yeah. Uh, good times. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't scored in a while. Don't plan on it. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, definitely not. Okay, um, you played in England. You're going to yep. Wales, but now you're in. Um, <clears throat> sorry, Scotland. So can mm-hmm. we discuss? And you have a French accent, so maybe you're yeah. you're not as in tune with it as me. But when I first went to Scotland. Mm-hmm. That accent out of the three places was the hardest one to understand. I didn't understand a lick of what they were saying. Yeah, I think it's still one of the hardest ones for me. Uh, and then there's got, Irish. The, that was tough too. Irish, well, yeah, but I really think this. Yeah, here it's. I need to focus when they talk. You know. Uh, yeah. Especially, yeah, me, me, and they don't really understand what I'm saying. So, <laughs> it's right. Hard. Sometimes it's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's probably my my friends that are coming out, but. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's good time. So. Okay, so here's the ne- next question. Your your kid's not old enough probably to be in this scene, but Trevor mm-hmm. Hendricks ran a hockey school up in Scotland. Yeah, game yeah. was tied at the end, right? Okay. <laughs> so he's like, "Well, do you want to do a shootout?" The kids say, "No, we want to do a moo off." Have you ever heard of a moo off in Scotland? A moo off. Yeah. The kids got no. down on all fours and faced each other on the ground. And mood at each other, and whoever laughed first lost. <laughs> they did that. Hendo sent me the videos. He goes, "This is hockey school in Scotland." <laughs> I never heard of that. That's funny. I was just Hendo, curious. He's doing a great job around there. Yeah, I was just yeah. curious if you've ever heard of a moo off because that was the only time. No, I've heard never, of it. never. I'm wondering if we're gonna maybe bring it up next game or something. I mean. Why not? Yeah, I you know, guys, against five or Dundee or something. <laughs> yeah, <if the> game's <laughs> tied at the end. Shootouts Seven. suck, anyways. Just have yeah, a move off, exactly. satirize. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, sorry, that was just a random question. I thought. No, but, never heard of it. Um, out of the accents for me though, Scottish was hardest to understand. Yeah, not, I thought mm-hmm. Welsh and English weren't that bad. Welsh, I thought was easier than English, but then mm-hmm. Irish was probably closer to Scottish for me, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's weird how they all talk differently and they're all on that same island, eh? Well, even in Sheffield, I remember I used to drive five minutes out, five minutes this way. It, it's different. Accent was different everywhere you go, so. Right. I think it's the it is, same yeah. in Wales. I think in Wales, yeah. if you, you get out to the country, shit's weird too. No, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never got out. I never did much because I had like my kid was a, like they were little, right? And I was at uh-huh, school. Uh-huh. So, yeah, yeah, they went to school. Did they um, pick up any accent for you, the kid? Uh, no, other than uh, no? like my, well, my son went to a little preschool there for half a year okay. or last year. And he did call his little sister a uh, wanker, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> when he was three. <laughs> oh, that was uh, great. Yeah, he also, uh, that one memory I have was uh, we were told he uh, was kissing a girl at school there. Started, oh, yeah, yeah. Starting young. They, yeah. they were told right. that kissing is not for at school. Yeah. Right, uh, <laughs> <laughs> got, got right after it in Cardiff. They yeah. Told me. <laughs> Uh, okay so what other responsibilities you got as like a coach so you do uh, you don't have to do much once practice is over you're not cutting video or any of that shit. no no i no I, I'm not, I just Blech. i just like the 
Malcolm bring me up and we talk about the games and what should we do and things like that. Just, you just want my input more more than anything. That makes sense um, and he should. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it, it's good because uh, it's, it's a career path I would like maybe to go in coaching later on in life. So uh, it gives me, I, I can learn from him and uh, – so it's it's good. I think it's good for my future. I hope so. You know. Oh, definitely. I, I need, just, uh, anything like that, you get on not a resume, but like a, even the experience of like exactly having a different role in the organization, right? No, yeah, exactly. No. So uh, I'm pretty pretty happy to do that. Yeah, I helped out with the power play in Cardiff when I was injured. Oh yeah. Uh, that, um, uh-huh. And then I did some pregame speeches. Um, <laughs> that was your <laughs> second year, right? Yeah. Yeah. When I didn't yeah. play. Yeah. Things got different that year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this season though, you, you're, you're still doing her. So um, 15 goals already. I, I haven't looked uh, research team got hot last week. So I, I you probably yeah, scored yeah. this weekend. Yeah. I think I'm up 16. I got one this weekend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, uh, it, it's uh, been doing good. Yeah. We uh, uh, been clicking good with my line mates too this year. And who's uh, that? Uh, Yellowhorn, and uh, I was playing with Stevenson, but not with Laporte. So, but I, I always like to play with a center that uh, always keep with the same center all year. You know, it's I think so. Me and Yellow, we've been doing good, and uh, Ports is there now, and I think we have a good little line going. I, you know, I I feel like I should know this, but I think Laporte would he have played at Western Michigan University at one point? Would you know that? He did. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Fellow That's Bronco, so maybe growing. I'll have to bring him into the shed someday. Yeah, yeah, yeah been, uh, he's a character. He'd be a good uh, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but you're right, playing with the same guy for a year, you figure yeah, it's you figure it out, right? But you could also know within two weeks that it's not going to work. <laughs> it, it, yeah, you'll see, you'll, you'll know at the start if it works. But I, I play with coaches that they will switch the line all the time. Uh, I, even if you feel don't the rhythm, go, right? It, it, it is, even though if you two games you don't do anything don't switch a line you know we've been that's that's what i think i feel like even if two or three games not going well keep us together you know you, we, we're gonna figure out you know if you play all year with them and i think you're gonna get better result for sure sometimes you gotta let them figure it out right instead of panic yeah yeah the panic it's never a good thing i mean <laughs> <sighs> you know as a rookie coach here at under 11 sometimes you gotta look in the yeah. mirror right and it's like uh-huh I, I, sometimes when we're losing one, nothing, two, nothing in a game, I'm like, I got to make adjustments. I got to change something because yeah. nothing's happening where maybe uh-huh. sometimes I just got to let it keep going, but I don't know. I find coaching's really easy when you get a lead and you're winning. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's not nearly as easy when you're down one or two, nothing with your little guys and you're looking at them and like, they're sad and you're like, uh-huh. God, how do I fix this? <laughs> no, I, yeah, you're right. The, you'll never know until you're the coaching in the coaching job. Right. So, uh, well, and that's why uh, it's good to get that experience. Right. I didn't even you can. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Growing up in it's Amo, right? Yeah. I must. I'm yeah. us. You do say the S. Yeah, yeah we do. Yeah. I'm what us. the heck? I thought I was trying to speak, yeah, speak a little French there, man. Nah, it's, you need to say the S. Yeah. <laughs> you got to say the S. I must. I must. I must. Nah, that's go. how I would have said it. That's a good one. Why was yeah. I trying to speak French? I know. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Amos. Amos. Yeah. Growing up there to the Forest Yeah. I mean, just How'd you get into AAA. hockey? I think my mom took me to escape when I was like pretty young and uh, everyone played hockey in Canada, you know, right? But uh, till you weren't no, allowed. I, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. These Sorry. We're not different. talking about it. No, we're not. I don't want to get into it, but, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I think my mom took me skating when I was pretty young and, uh, my dad was used to play hockey. And I remember my, uh, downstairs in the house, like I was allowed to just take a park and take clapper everywhere in the house, you know, was, unfinished basement, so, uh, unfinished basement. You know, I think there was a lot of them back when we were growing up. So, uh, there was a lot of hockey played there, but no, I've been loving the game since. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Once you get into it and it's your passion, it's hard to get out. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's I think just thinking of that is like that first year out of hockey, man. Like, especially if your body starts recovering, you start feeling better. Yeah. Like my knee was done. My the doctors would not let me do it. But if my knee wouldn't have been done, and I if I was like, geez, if I just get back in shape, yeah, 
I could go probably make more money than I do now. And yeah, I know. <laughs> it, it, I think I'm pretty sure if you get over that first year, it's, it's different. But I remember as I was working, it was like minus 40 outside, it's freezing. It was, I was like, I, I, I'm not like, I was looking at Sheffield too. They were losing. I was like, I, I tried to get back to Sheffield. So, but they didn't want me back. So, mm. uh, was it a different that's coach? What, yeah, well, it was the year they fired Tomo and Tom Barrasso came in. Uh, that's when I, I tried to. I heard I was he was an interesting back. cat. Yeah, I heard some. Yeah, I, I don't know much about him. but I don't know anything either. Uh, I just heard he was interesting. But Yeah, exactly. He must have been if it's only split for not and, even a year, right? And he didn't want you in front of that other power play. You're the king of Sheffield. No, he didn't want it. So, so that's why I try to look everywhere else. You know, sometimes, and I've seen it in my shed talking around, uh, I've heard it from people, is sometimes when players get such a name behind them and a legacy yeah. and a coach comes in, sometimes the coach wants it to be about him and not about the players that have such big names in the area. Um, and yeah. so they're like, I want to clean this out so then, you know, people can talk about the coach. About, yeah, maybe. Uh, I can see that. But uh, it's all right. It's all worked out. Exactly. It all does yeah. happen for a reason. Yeah. Um, okay. So you got into it that way. And then you, what was that? Is that junior hockey? The forest GAs? Yeah. No, that's a midget triple A. That's the, the, you know, when you're 15 and 16 and after that you get drafted by the Q well for us, it was the for junior. The yeah. The Q. Yeah. Yeah. So you played at home right up till you leave for the Q I was at 15 or so. Yeah. I was lucky enough that the midget triple A team was actually in my own town. So, uh, because yeah. everyone else, there was only two of us from the Amos in that year, and everyone else from uh, around Amos or even like closer to Montreal. So it's like where six, is Amos? It's way up north, man. It's like seven, six hour from Montreal up north. Uh, yeah, it's middle. It's a little tiny town. There's not a lot of things, but it's a lot of mining and things like that. Yeah, um, hard work, folks. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. so it's a good place to live for sure. Where people grow up really molds them, I find, talking in my shit. Yeah, no, you're right, yeah. We, uh... um, okay, so then how high did you get drafted? Research team missed that to uh, Katie Bathurst. Yeah, I was a second round, a fourth pick of the second round, if I, I think. Okay. Yeah. Um, so your third year, you get 50 goals at 104 points. You, you, were you ever ranked in the draft or anything? Because you never did get drafted. Eh? Yeah, I was I was actually ranked like I think 69 or something and get drafted. And I don't never happen. <laughs> uh, if I if I talked to if I was talking to my agent, like the question was like, we just don't know where or when, you know, he'll get drafted hundred percent, hundred percent. So huh. but that was the year it was a year of the lock lock lockout. And they dropped two rounds. There was only six rounds, I think, in the in the draft that year. And then the next year, they probably make it a few more. And then yeah. you're a year older, and they're like, ah. Yeah, I know. So, but uh, again, uh, it's a dream for every kid to be drafted. It was a hard time for me. I remember that. But that would I piss you the, off for sure. Yeah. The next day, I got a call for the Rangers. Though I, it's not the same to be drafted, but at least I was able to go to a. NHL camp. camp with the range, a rookie that, camp. Yeah, that, that's one thing I really wish I would have got to do before I got to a trade camp was do any of the rookie camps or be invited to yeah. anything. I wasn't invited to anything yeah. until I went to the main camp, and then I was like, "Whoa, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the big boy right there." Whoa, <laughs> I was not ready for that shit at all. Uh, no rookie camp. There's a, even a camp in the summer before rookie camp, all that. So yeah, it was good. good. Where is uh, a I, I'm not going to ask that tough question. I don't know where a Katie Bathurst is either, but what's the town like? Is that just the, like, not that big of a town, junior size no, town? No, it's a, it's, a, it's a tiny little town in uh, New Brunswick. Uh, uh, it, it remind me of where I'm from. So it was. It's it was in New Brunswick, me. eh? Yeah, it's in New Brunswick. Yeah. So uh, they're still kicking it too. They still have a team there. And, uh, well, the I research think team was hot couple uh guys i played with uh i guess my rookie year well, we're on that team yeah. Pete, peter pull yeah i play with peter he's yeah, had a hell of a peter. career eh? yeah we actually play it's funny we didn't see each other for 10 years we uh actually play against each other when i was in sheffield they came down i, I don't know where you used to play we, they just came down for a friendly a weekend i think it was a team in germany well he, he, he got his he got his german passport man and he was playing for like oh, Berlin. 
No, I, that's what it was. Yeah, he was he was there in Sheffield. I was like, fuck, oh, Peter Paul, it's been a while, man. I you know, he was with the Daytona it. Beach Bombers, and the co- that yeah. coach there was a uh, like hard, um, you know, didn't really like fancy hockey, and mm. uh, he Peter was kind of in his doghouse for the year, and mm. and then to see what that kid's career has been yeah, since, man, Crazy, yeah. is uh, like the next year I think he was up there for East Coast League scores, and then he's in he was oh, in the A good. a bit, but Europe he's yeah. really been running a muck, yeah, uh, no, but okay. So you guys were pretty good though for in New Brunswick. There, you played seventeen playoff games and you had nineteen points. Yeah, we uh, we had a great team that year. We uh, I seventeen think we lost games against... played. That's the finals. Are you in the finals? No, we uh, no, we lost against Quebec, the Round Park. It was for Game Seven. We did lose against Radulov and all that. They they were Radulov, pretty good too. But yeah. The, the, yeah, but the winner of that game was going to the Mem Cup because uh, Munton was in the final. And the men, they, they were already there, so it was a big game. But we lost. I, I think Radulov had like seven point that game it was crazy. I, yeah, that guy, yeah. that guy works hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> I've seen him play. That guy, he's got a, he's yeah, got he, a high motor. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, but yeah, what's weird to me is the, the options guys have out of junior or college and like kind of why. Cause I saw you play at Sheffield that year, 2014, 15, dude. I was like, why is this guy here? Why has he been in the coast? What is happening? Cause like, you know, it, it, when you're a guy that never made it and you see all the other guys that didn't make it. And then you see some guys like, you're like, well, why, why weren't they getting a kick at the can? Cause some of the guys you see, get a kick at the can. Not as good as you (laughs) definitely not. No, I, (laughs) no, it's, it was, uh, yeah, I, I, after I leave that lead the coast and uh, and points, I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought something's gonna happen. You know, I'll I'll find my way in the A, and I'll, but never happened. Uh, at even, what age were you at that time? I was like 25 or 26. I was still kind of well, kind of young, right? Back uh, at the, back those days, 25 was still kind of young, right? Nowadays, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Think. Yeah, but it, it was a funny way the way I end up to Sheffield though, because I was supposed to go to I was I signed in Norway. I was going to Norway that year. What team? And uh uh it's a little, tiny little fish town. Anyway, the team yeah. fold the team fold like a, three days before the season started or something. So oh. they call me and I end up with no team. And lucky enough, back in the day, the EIHL was starting way later than everyone, right? Yeah. And I got a call from Sheffield and I was like, yeah, I heard some good things. I was like, why not? I don't have a team. And uh, I end up to Sheffield. And I, I feel like for me personally, it was one of the best time of my life. To think Sheffield. Well, it's so, weird how all the different pieces fit when you talk around in your shed, because that year, yeah. that year um, I was at my cottage here in Concord and my grandma's cottage. And yeah. I, I signed for Cardiff. The day I bought this house, which is weird. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And then, uh, but the other option was Sheffield. I was talking to Gerard Adams. Oh, yeah. I was like, well, and so you, then, I might have took your spot then. No, but it could have been like <laughs> me, you, and 40 on the power play. Yeah, know? imagine. Yeah. Just, yeah, man, yeah. Could have been this. But um, I think it's funny how it all works. And then look how it all worked yeah, out for yeah. me with Cardiff. Mm-hmm. It's just very strange. But, uh, Mm-hmm. Anyways, it's weird what guy, yeah, your MVP of the league, or I don't know if you're MVP, but 89 points, however many goals, most in the league. And you're then you see these other guys yeah. get called up and you're like, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. I, I think at one point I was like, I, I don't even think about the HL. I'm just going to stay here in Florida and, and enjoy life. Enjoy right? my life. And, and enjoy my life. Right. You know, it was a nice place to, that was hard to leave too. You know, like I remember I was called up maybe twice and, no one was talking to each other in the a like it was just they yeah, hate you know oh, I mean? it's, 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 they, everyone it's like, hated each, yeah. everyone hated each other i was like bring me back i, I don't need to be here you know what i mean yeah I, everyone dreams about the nhl but i i was like it's not gonna happen i'm not stupid but i just bring me back to the coast you know enjoy when, life I, when I, I got when yes when i got called up to the hl i thought the people really didn't like each other that much uh it yeah. was it was 
they were all in it for themselves for the most part. And then there's the odd guy mm-hmm. that were like real teammates and they really stuck out to you yeah. because the other yeah. guys didn't do that. But you're right. The coast no. was, you're, you felt like you were part of the team. You felt like you were on a hockey team, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, chance to win every year there in Florida. So, you know, it's yeah. always fun. Well, uh, a guy that beat me out for the job in the AHL also played with you, not Katie Bathurst, Olivier LaBelle. Yeah. Yeah, the LaBelle, yeah. yeah. Beat me out for the still right Still playing, too. Job. Is he? Did he? Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's still playing in France, yeah. Mm. Well, he beat me out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so one thing, though, is you got traded after, what, four years or three years in a Katie Bathurst for probably your last year final run? Valdor, yeah. Forers? Yeah. No. Yeah, I'm, that's right. Sorry, I'm not My gonna try own, and talk French minutes. anymore. Valdor Forest, yeah. right? <laughs> hey, guy, hey, guy, exactly. Yeah, that's uh, it's 45 minutes from my hometown there, so uh, it was uh, it that's was awesome. good for me to yeah. finish my yeah my dream. But I I don't I think Bathurst would kind of like um, person. I I think they were thinking I'm gonna stay up in the air or the coast. That's why they let me go. You know that year. So were they still um, good? I thought maybe they weren't going to be good, so they traded. You no, they were they were okay because uh, they were still have uh, Matthew Perro was still in the team and uh, Thomas Baragar, and they, he scored like seventy two games, uh, 70, 72 goals that year, and you know Matthew Perro. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. Well, Perro was just a disher, you know. He's great. So yeah. Oh, Matthew. Me, so Matthew Perro, that's like who does he play for now? He's in the show, right? Uh, he was with Winnipeg for a long time. He right, ended yeah. Up in Montreal. Skates fast, good passer. Yeah, a little tiny guy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I know. So yeah, so real the good. Guy that could shoot with him would go well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I, I was with I was with uh, the Penguin that year, and I, everyone, I, I thought I was going to stay too, and yeah, or even. They sent me in the coast, but I didn't want to stay in the coast. So I went so back. So you went there to like, uh, like you're with them, like how, like, oh, you go there for the tryout, like for the camps. But well, yeah, don't... like a, like a, just a regular trial with Pittsburgh. But I, I went to the like rookie main camp and all that, sent back in the, uh, the HL and was there for a while. I was doing okay. Cause you had and, 50, uh, you had 50 goals, 50. Yeah, I know. Goals. Yeah. So I was doing well. And next time, you know, I, the call go back in whaling he's like you, you want to go to whaling i was like no nah, i'm not going there when, yeah i'm not going there at 20 years old so i went back home and yeah playing junior when i was 20 we actually had a good thing there too so well so yeah you got traded to uh valdor by home yeah and uh you guys mm-hmm. had to have a good team because in 20 games played in the playoffs you had 24 points now yeah with that one we lost in the final we oh, uh God. to who yeah to yeah. lewiston yeah, the maniac. Who's on that team? Uh, you know what? Uh, who was in that? Um, Mark Andre Klish was one of the best player. Uh, there's that kid pocket. They are like stacked three line, like stacked, like really. So they were three deep, lines. three lines deep. Because yeah, they I were saw, deep. And we, you uh, guys, uh, you guys were just high end, eh? Yeah, you had st- you had yeah. you scored all the goals stand in front with Brad Marchand and Chris we had, Yeah, we had. Exactly. You know, that power play was out of control. You're telling like, me you got Latang up top righty, Marshawn yeah. half wall, and you're in front? Yeah. You yeah, shut that was your the filthy power play mouth, right really? That, yeah. <laughs> so is that how Marshawn yeah. had 40 points in 20 games of the playoffs? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, yeah, they, they step up. Those guys step up. I remember Chris Latang when he was kicking the puck, man, like, no one couldn't touch him. It was a, a beautiful thing to watch, you know. It was the break on in the power plays. Latang, pick the puck up. We'll meet you in the zone, you know. <laughs> it a bit was of crazy. a man rocket too, eh? Yeah. Um, my, so, fun fact for the Shed folks here is um, we went to watch Tom Kuhnhackel from Landsuit, Germany, play for the Penguins against the Leafs, me and Colby. And we went down to meet Tom after, brought us a signed hat, and – yeah. Chris Latang was one of the great people that came up and was like, of course I'll take a picture with your son. And like, oh, we, nice. we got a picture together and um, like my son doesn't even realize like who he was taking pictures. With, yeah. Right? <laughs> no, I know he's uh he's been having a nice, uh, nice time in the NHL. For sure. He's doing, he's doing okay. pretty happy for him. Yeah. He's yeah, doing okay. Yeah, okay. Marshawn's <laughs> doing all right too. eh? Yeah. He's all right too. Huh? So he never licked, no, we had you, a great... never licked you in the face at all. No, no. I'm, I was you never saw him lick anybody. Maybe. 
I don't think he might have done it once or twice. I he might have done it that year too. <laughs> oh. I think it's something he's been doing. I still for a while. don't get that. Like, but the thing is, is like I know what he was doing when he did it. He was like, yeah. I'm gonna show Toronto we own them. <laughs> And, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, watch this. I'm going to lick a guy and they're not going to do anything oh. about it. And he did. And the guy did nothing I about know. it. And they own them. Oh. Yeah. Oh, funny <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Yeah. You were the leading scorer on that team, though. Did you know that? Uh, for the, the year? In the regular season, it's, yeah. 87, 87 points, but you beat Marshawn by seven oh. points. Not a big deal. Well, uh, I wish any NHL team saw that. Hey, my research team did, yeah. and they saw you stand in front of Sheffield. <laughs> if I got to, if I got to pick out a team, team would be awesome. Anyways, yeah. do you know how else we know each other? Is this so? We almost met up in Sheffield, but we almost okay. were on the same power play way before that. I had signed oh. for the Pensacola Ice Pilots, and Ooh. I was on the drive there. I was driving there. I was hitting an AHL camp in Milwaukee, I believe. And oh. I was at Western Michigan University. And I so stayed. we must have been together in, in Milwaukee, though. I'm I, not, I am not finished my story. Uh, uh, uh. I, I'm with the Western Michigan Broncos, and I go yeah. to I go to uh practice with them on the way to the HL camp. And um I got the call from Germany. They had called two weeks earlier. I had said no. They called again. And I'd had two weeks yeah. to think about it. And I cha- we changed our mind and decided it was what was best. And I was in Michigan. I was in Detroit area. I literally just went to the <laughs> airport instead of Milwaukee. And Did I you? Wow. Yeah. So I That's left for Germany story. on the way to Milwaukee or else I would have met you there. <laughs> so you're, uh, yeah, you've been in, you played in Germany for a couple of years. So it was a good, good move by you, right? It can sprick a nine bis in Deutsch. <laughs> 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 I was a Deutsche Meister Pokal champion, too, okay. which is oh, like okay. their Challenge okay. Cup. Yeah, I was there six oh, years. Nice. Yeah, six, oh, six nice. years. But no, I was on my way to Penn School. Do you remember who That's was the funny. coach there? I had signed with John, him. John Marsh? Yeah. John Marsh. Yeah. Was he older? Yeah. Yeah, he was older, man. Yeah. yeah he was a great was... guy, but played for the Chicago Blackhawks back in, I don't know when, but. Yeah, no. I, re- I remember. Uh, all that. And I, I was I think thinking it, the same thing as you though, is like, if you're going to be in the coast or the HL, whatever, I was like, I'm not living in Dayton, Ohio. I no. saw, I saw how the Florida Everblades lived. Yeah. I'm, he- I'm heading South. Yeah, I know. That's the place for sure. That's so Pensacola, did you really live on a golf course and golf they, for free and then play hockey? We did. We did golf for free and all that. I, I did not. Uh, some of the guys had a place right on the, like on the beach or something, but I didn't. Uh, it was my first year. So I'm pretty sure I got the last, uh, yeah, right. The last yeah, apartment. You, you got though, the but, last, you get the last yeah. apartment after uh, 24 points and 20 playoff games and a 50 goal and 42 <laughs> goal season. Yeah. Well, it's first year pro. Think, it. Yeah, it was first, a tough year. It was a tough year. I heard it was tough there. And I've heard yeah. from so many people. It's a great thing. I never went there because were you guys not yeah, like no, in last place and then went bankrupt? The last place. Oh. Yeah. We fold, they fold the year after. It's just, uh, yeah, it was Awful. tough, especially for a first year. And I was lucky enough uh, after that, we fold. That's where Malcolm Cameron came in the picture. He called me from uh, Florida. He got hired for Florida, and that's when I ended He up was the Florida. Everblades coach. Yeah, he's my co- first coach in uh, for two years in the Everblades, yeah. Hmm. Oh. Small world, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All come around. It sure does. Um, <laughs> okay, so, yeah, Pensacola was nice then. Yeah. Nice city though. It looked was, nice. I never did make it there. Great. And I was so excited no, I, about living on a golf course, even though I don't yeah, golf during uh, hockey season. Cause <laughs> I always found golfing and hockey season would, would screw up my stick handling. So once hockey started, I was done clubs away, nah, but no more I was, I was willing to do that in the East coast. I was going to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think after a couple of weeks, you'd be like, yeah, let's go golfing. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <Enough's> yeah. <enough. laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, okay. So that's how you get to the Everblade. So Malcolm yeah. Cameron signs you out of Pensacola. Yeah. So somebody, cause Florida is not an easy team to sign with. Let's be honest. They have two HL teams and they're getting yeah. sent all the contract babies, right? Left and right. Yeah. Left and right. The guy is the open door there in Florida, especially with two HL team every week. You got a different team, you know? 
And, and it's just oh. all these young punks, eh, on the NHL deals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, they all have the money, and they come down with the NHL. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, yeah. Hopefully they, they fly it so they don't bring their fancy cars. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's, that's a, I think that's the way that those teams needs to, they're going to win. It's to keep a good core, a guy who's on the contract, yeah. East Coast contract. That's how you're going to win because – Guys are up and down all the time. <laughs> Those are the guys group. that shape your team. They're what make exactly. it a team, right? And that exactly. the Dayton Bombers actually had that with uh, when I was there. For, they had a Did handful you win? of guys. We, we lost Did the final. We okay. lost so to I, Idaho. We put out. Right. We beat the Everblades in Florida in Game Seven, and I had one of the wildest nights I've been a part of. It was I something. Bet. Yeah, but I, I ended up back at the Everblades. Uh, like we all hung out together. We. We had such a great seven game series that when it was over, yep. me and a couple of the boys on our team ended up at yeah. the, the Everblades party. And, okay. and like we were all hanging out, drinking, and I will may the refs may or may not have been there um, <laughs> and drove us back to the hotel late night. <laughs> um, uh, that's good. But no, it was, uh, and then it opened my eyes that I'm like, there's, if I'm in the East Coast, man, there's a lot of other ways to live than Daytona Beach, Ohio. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Yeah, Lord of something. So, how many legs and eggs have you been to? Uh, probably a couple. When I was in my just a couple younger twenties, you know. Uh, no, I right mean, I mean, with the Everblades, how many times did the team show oh, up? The, the team. Well, it, we don't have to talk about you going there. Personally. I, I uh, actually, <laughs> I started. I started at the. I start. We started at uh, maybe my third year. I was there, so I must have we must have done it four times when I was there. You know, so, every yeah. rookie party. What a great idea, though, and like what a tradition, yeah. right? Oh yeah, I love it that it's still going. I love that's it. How win, uh, that's how you win. That's how you win championships. You get the boys exactly. together. You have a day that people are going to remember. Everybody comes together, and next thing you know, you win yeah. shit, right? And especially where we wait in March, you know, it, it's pretty rare for a rookie party to be that late. But I think it's great, just right around the playoff. Uh, well, and the other thing it, in those leagues is a lot of those guys that are rookies the first month or two are not the rookies yeah. come the real deal, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's a, the, the, When you look yeah. at those rosters, like when the research team gets hot at the East Coast League, uh, and it's like <laughs> it's like 60 players a team and 12 goalies, and it's yeah. like, what uh, a team. That's, that's, that's yeah, a team no, atmosphere yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> North America. So you must have loved it when you went to Europe and there was like a team, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, a team. I guess Florida kid. was too, right? Florida was a yeah, team with well, that core of guys, right? Especially the year we won. Like, uh, I think that's what it was. We're a team. We stick with the same goalie. We stick with like, that's a problem too. Goalies up and down all the time, you know. But uh, that year we uh, were able to, break, to keep a great core and every time, every time, Every time a guy was coming down, even the coach was, I, I need to show a lot of respect for coach, even, even though the guy in the A was coming down, even though it was not better than the guy from the Colts, he was in the stands, you know, he was keeping the guy that was, a lot of times, oh, guy he on came the contract, from the a. He needs to play. First he line. He came from the A, he needs to play. Exactly. Yeah. But that year he kept his guy and uh, got a good result from it. I, I, I was impressed by it too. Um, I, it was also confusing to me, but I still remember playing in that semifinal match against the Everblades. There's a dude that mm -hmm. had played in the NHL that year, AHL and the coast and was available yeah. to the team. And they put him up in the stands in the playoffs. Yeah. And then yeah. you're like, well, if you're, you're obviously putting your best foot forward to win this game. And mm -hmm. to think of the way the hockey world works, that the guy that's sitting out in the East Coast is also the guy your organization called up to the NHL this year. That's weird <laughs> exactly. shit. <laughs> I know it is. It is. But yeah, yeah. That, sometimes that's the way you have to go. You know, that is, that, some, that is some, okay. Some, man, some guys, some guys come down. They don't care. They, they do not care. They, you know, they just well, want to go back up. They just want to go back up. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I'd let. Yeah. Anyways, you know, another guy yeah. that was there who is a, a Everblade legend, I do believe, and a roller hockey enthusiast, Ernie Hartlieb. Yeah, the mayor. Yeah. Is he the mayor of uh, Fort Myers, Estero? Yeah, yeah, he is. He is. He's one of my good friends. We, uh, we hang up every summer together. Uh, 
He's where do you? Where's your there. home base? Where's your home base? Where do you go home in the uh, off season? Well, I, I just sold my house in Canada. We, uh, my wife's from Florida. She's from Naples, so uh, I think that's that's where we hang up. Uh, we're always in Florida now. Uh, I, 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 had, there, I, I had a Myers. feeling the research team was hot and yeah. saw you played for the Huntsville yeah. Havoc or something or ba- Ice Bears, and then I was like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Mean, I think he's married a girl from Florida, and that he just wants. Yeah, to play. that's that exactly. I just needed to be the a lot of a lot of yeah. I needed to be in the. Oh, I was with Kamazu that year. I signed with Kamazu. I was supposed to go on the coast that year. In my well, head, was let's not jump hit, ahead, but Ernie Hartley. Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay, that guy yeah, was okay. I when he was always playing roller hockey. All those roller hockey tournaments yeah. I go to, he'd be there. Yeah. And then I real like yeah. everybody's like, well, he's like a real pro hockey player. He plays for Florida, yeah. and then the tournaments were in Florida, yeah. and he knew everybody. That guy, eh? He's, he's like I said, he's he goes in the oh, he, he owns a place now, pretty much. You know, he walks in, he's got two kids, he owns the gym. Uh, at the rink now, him and his wife, and they're doing a good job for the kids around there. Uh, it's fun That's to cool. see that uh, he's yeah he's involved. So w- where yeah. around in Florida do you guys hang out then in the off seasons? By the there, by the Everblades? Yeah, right there. I I still like uh, all summer long. We uh, we have the men's league there. Hockey is pretty strong in the summer in Fort Myers, man. There's a lot yeah, of I pro guy that I yeah. never liked playing hockey in the summers. <laughs> I don't either, but I needed to get back in shape, man. <laughs> well, and the game changed. I remember when Andrew Lord found out I didn't skate in the summers. I was like, Yeah, I'm like in oh, Germany, Lord, though, you go yeah. back there, there's a month of preseason, like a month. Yeah, and you're like, Why mm-hmm. would I skate all summer? And then you're gonna make me skate for a month. I'll just wait till well, it's called training. <laughs> It's called training camp, right? So you should you should <laughs> go there and get in, tra- in shape. <laughs> I don't think coaches are allowed to say that anymore. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I I just I I don't like skating in the summer. Never. Does. Yeah, I understand. I'm not a big fan either. I like playing games against people, against guys like you. That's more fun. So, <laughs> uh, anyways, so then Tifu is on your team with the Florida Everblades, yeah. and I I was thinking. Um, with him on your power play and you in front, that would also go well. Yeah, Tiff was sick. He's a good player. So uh, he talk. was he's so he's, sick. I, yeah, he's, he, he he loves the game, right? Oh, he, yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, man, what a uh, beauty. So you play with him and, and Dayton, right? Dayton, oh, yeah, when yeah, we went yeah, to the yeah, finals. Obama. He, he yeah. was always on one line. I was on the other line, and uh, mm-hmm. it, we, yeah, we had a good squad when you look back on it. Yeah. A lot of guys white, that white, played quite a bit. The white skate and all. Piffle, white yeah. skate. Long, he, you know what? He he is the the prototypical, like, he's funny. He's like, if you watch Good, he's that French yeah, superstar, he's a, he's right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've only watched that movie, like, once, but I'm like, geez. That's teeth. <laughs> yeah, it's the belief right there. <laughs> guys yeah, are beauty. I love it. playing with oh, him, yeah. man. What a time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys on a power play would be pretty swell mm-hmm. to watch yeah. as a coach. Yeah. Anyways, so then you decide to leave Florida. How did you do that? Because you, you obviously uh, <clears throat> coerced a gal from Florida in your shed. So then it's like, well, how did you get convince her that like, hey, we're going to head to Norway? Oh, no, yeah. we're going to go we're... to UK. Uh, no, I wasn't with her. It was my, my wife back then. So, ah. uh, yeah, yeah. So and that's, uh, I just left because I, I, in my head, like there's nothing to do anymore in Florida. Right. Like I was at the end of, I wanted to try something new. Um, and I always wanted to go to Europe, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I never been known for the guy who liked to go to gym and things like that. So, yeah. I, you know, I understand. In my, <laughs> yeah, in, in in my head, it's like I can't go to Sweden and run ten miles a day. You know, I it's not my kind of. I I show up at the game. That's where I show up. You know. Uh, so man, you're talking my language. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I like I had to offer in a few legs, but in my in, it's the funniest thing in my in my head back then. I I always heard story about the EIHL. I'll. Crazy it was, good right? Off. Oh, yeah, well, how it's getting it better? And, and, and yeah, and in my head, like this is my kind of style of hockey for sure. You know, like, that's where I wanted to go. But everyone were like, "Don't go there! Don't go there! You're gonna you're gonna die there!" Blah blah blah. I was like, 
well, that's, I think that's what I want to do. So, yeah, but uh, I got that offer in Norway and it, it fell through because of team full and right away, Sheffield called me as like, and my, like, this is it. That, that, that's where I belong. I need to go in that league. That's, that's my kind of hockey. And man, I, I would agree with you. Um, I'm not trying to be negative or anything, but your skating isn't high end, right? Like it's no, not right, high end exactly. skating. It's not but what no. you, what you do is, um, well, like you're crafty yeah. through the neutral zone. You make the little play to the guys that are skating mm-hmm. fast. And then you're like, yeah. okay, I'll see you. I'm going up to the net. And exactly. I'll be that's, the guy that's scoring. Why, the yeah. That's why with Michael uh, Fernie, my first year, like I, I remember I, I was keep telling him, Mike, I don't want the puck in the neutral zone. I don't want, I don't want it. No, oh, just skate it in. I'll fucking part my ass. And, and that's, that, and, that, and when, for me, when I would play with guys and like, you know, everybody knows where each other's at, what they do well. I'd be like, yeah. can I please have the puck sooner? Like, stop yeah. waiting until I don't have time. Give it to me mm-hmm. while I have time in the neutral zone. And then yeah, you yeah, go, yeah. and then I have time. I'll bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, give it to me sooner than you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and exactly. then we'll meet so up there. <laughs> we'll meet you right where. I really feel I'm like, you know, it could. who knows, right? Maybe the Pensacola Ice Pilots thrive that year if we're together. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it could have turned out the club around there. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think it would have—it really would have worked. Because like I had, I had Matthew yeah. Myers and Cardiff. He was the same in the neutral zone. He's like, I don't want the puck. Yeah, here, take it. No, I'm going. Yeah, yeah. See you no, up there. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I don't know where how we got to that. Where are we? We're in Sheffield, but yeah, the EIHL is a league for you, man. Because I remember I played in Europe and Germany, and it is a different yeah. game man. It's all about skating and skill. Like if you body check someone Mm -hmm. too hard, it's a penalty. There's no fighting. Yeah. It was like, I actually loved going to the AHL at the end because I felt like I was playing like, like North American hockey again. I felt like I was playing the real deal again. Yeah. It's it's the closest thing you get from back in the U S and Canada for sure. You know, Um, some, some rings are big, some are small. So you got, every kind of style of hockey you know yeah but the players that are <laughs> in that league were are, are were always like there i don't know like it, there's so many imports right and then the british guys are yeah. just the best teammates ever and are willing to do anything best, best. yeah or and it's it's yeah. such a different vibe than, mm-hmm. than yeah no you, you show up yeah you, first of all you speak english in the room with everyone even the, even the I coach don't, speaks English. It's wild. And even the coach, yeah. So, no, uh, like you said, those British guys, you come in, you're welcome. Like, I remember, I, I hang up with those guys all the time, and I still talk. I still, they're still my best friend, you know? Like, the guys from Sheffield, like, oh. those guys are beauties, man. I tell you, it's you know? weird uh, how, like, the British hockey players are made because, you not like, I knew the Cardiff guys. And I'm like, well, these guys are, yeah. like, the best teammates going. And then, like yeah. I see them get there with team GB and I'm like, wow, they all just love each other. And then like you I talk know. around and be a good time. the Brits and the EIHL are just all like, they're the best teammates around mm-hmm. and they really, yeah, they're, will- they they're willing to be on any line. They're willing to play any amount of ice time. They're willing to block any shot and they, yeah. ju- and they're playing in their NHL, right? Exactly. Yeah. No, then even though they'll play, five minutes they'll be the first one after the game to be able to like happy have Crack a beer the beers open we like, won the game crack a beer. exactly we won the game we're here we're happy you know and then you go no, to the ahl and a guy got 10, ah, 10 minutes of nah, ice nah. time and you won five nothing he's slamming doors breaking sticks screaming yeah. at guys and saying i'm whatever and then he leaves and you're like huh thought we won five nothing <laughs> yeah what just happened right now? <laughs> Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, sorry, I got sidetracked <laughs> to get there. Ah, uh, but uh, okay. I've no, I guess I I I'm willing to ask these questions. I'm not really sure why. I mm-hmm. guess um, you know, I've had time to come to terms with it. Are there any fun celebration parties after you guys won the league in Sheffield those two years? I don't. 
Yeah. They were, yeah. they were great, man. You know, what'd you, uh, guys, what'd you guys do? I don't really want to know, but uh, I'm sure other people do. So we went to, I, we, I might we, take we, the headset off for this part. Just there was a big fire in the room, big <laughs> fire in the room for sure. And we, we went in a few spots downtown and it just lasted for three, four days, you know, but that's mm-hmm. the funniest thing about this league. You, you party, but you got to show up for the rest of the season. It's not over, you know? Still so it's, playoffs. It's, it's still playoffs. So it's <laughs> yeah. it's a little different for sure. It's a little different. You take a day or two of partying, and after that, you need to go back to practice, you know? I, uh, I, it is an interesting league, though, that there's yeah. like there's also three winners. Right? Every There's three yeah. teams that also can feel like they did something. Yeah, <laughs> they did something. I know. I, I, I don't count the Challenge Cup. I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, – yeah, I'm sure you would. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you wouldn't have celebrated. I wish I won that game. You don't yeah, count yeah, it because you didn't win it. I didn't win it. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> you shut your filthy mouth. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it spawned this whole shed. It started all of this challenge yeah. cup. Wow, ah, great, nice. <laughs> um. So, did you heat, hit the uh, chili banana with the cup or no? No, I don't think I did. No, I probably did one of those chippy around the corner at the bar, a little chip and, yeah. I don't know, something. Yeah, no, I don't think we went to the cheetah banana. Uh, it was too late. I was, I still yeah. remember that day. Um, yeah. Off Jeepers. I have a really hard time with, like, other teams winning. It- well, especially that one, right? That one was that one. That one was tough. It was a grind, but like real, real. It was a grind. If we're gonna be honest, the team you play for now should have won. They blew it. Yeah. Oh, they did big oh, time. Oh boy, they did big time. Sorry, oh, it took me a while. They to pissed that right they down their leg. Yeah, yeah. When yeah, you remember did. when there's like a month left of the season, you're crunching the numbers and you're like, they play Fife, Dundee, 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 yeah. Fife. I think Fife. they lost. Against Edinburgh, right? At, and then like they that. lost against yeah. Edinburgh right at the end. And, and it, yeah. yeah, yeah. It yeah, still stings them. I talked to them. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about if you guys were going to win against us? I think you were going to Nottingham the next day, right? Something like that. Right. And and, and it's like everybody yeah. talks about this game we played after the Challenge Cup. Like that was the life or death of the yeah. season. because Just because mm-hmm. we lost 11-1. Well, guess what? We also lost however many other games, and that was one game. It doesn't matter if you lose 2-1 or 11-1. You no, lost the game. Lot, we were, we were always going to lose to you guys that game because you right. guys had just lost the Challenge Cup. You were so pissed off, and you were so refocused, and we mm-hmm. had just had a time. Yeah, a good time after that Challenge Cup. And that's right? how the- that that's how hockey works. Is with Susan, yeah. you, you know? <laughs> but the game at the end of the season. Yep. You beat us 2-1 in Sheffield. 2-1, yeah. Nobody in talks Sheffield, about that yeah. game. Why aren't we talking about that game? We should have just won that game. Yeah, we, we, were well, all, no, it's... we weren't hung over for that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good times, though. Those were some of the yeah. best battles I've ever had in hockey, though. And too, it, brought, it, about those it brought back the passion, right? It brought mm-hmm, back my mm-hmm. passion for hockey when I played against the Brayhead clan and the Sheffield Steelers that year. Yeah. Because those games in the big blue tent, some of the funnest hockey I've ever played. Yeah, there was something else. I, they, they were stopped to go there and play. I remember as the but crowd you guys, was, you guys were ready. Yeah, I would actually would actually we did a good job against you guys at thing at the blue tent. Uh we're not many hard. teams it's did. Hard. Yeah. No, it's hard to win there. It was hard to win there for sure. I wonder what it's like with the new arena if it's like that. It can't be the not, same. Personally, I uh, it's different. It's not the same. To- it was no, that totally different. You know, they were uh, it, right, it, right on the glass, five deep, banging on it like people it right nuts, above man. it. Yeah, oh. it was not. Yeah, the it was ugly, a, for sure was, an advantage for you. It was definitely the most beautiful, ugly arena in the world. <laughs> That's a great way to put it, for sure. Yeah. I, I think it was Fitzy that really didn't like our arena. He there was, there was a couple of people that put out, like, I can't believe I played a professional hockey game in this arena. And I was like, I actually loved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you guys. It's uh, like Manchester this year. It's the same thing, the same ring. And it's tough. When, I, I remember going to Manchester, and it was tough to play there on the road. And I was like, this is the same arena we play out of Cardiff. Why mm-hmm. is this tough? Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's weird, huh? It is weird. No, it is. It's tough, man. It was tough. 
So then you do your four years there. You win the league twice, playoffs once. And then, yeah. uh, but so why does Forney leave? You guys are zigging and zagging that first year. You guys That's are just... dominating the league. And, that, and then I saw him go to Belfast and I'm like, why? Like, the, yeah. why, why would that happen? It's a great question. I actually I have no idea what the answer is, but I think he went to school in Belfast. He probably got the money he wanted. It's all about the money, right? That at the point, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I wish he stuck. I wish he stuck with us. Yeah, man. You guys we, were good together. We do. At least uh, Fred stay. Me and yeah. Fred were good too. You know, so. He's a no, guy I, I, I played against a lot. I should find yeah, find him in yeah. the world. Where is he at these days? You know, he's uh, back in Michigan right now. He's working. Michigan. He's from Chatham. Yeah. Oh, he I, married a girl uh, from Michigan State. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so he's mm, there. I played against him in Junior B. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then I played against him at Michigan State, and then I played against him. In but Chatham. he's got his both. He he's got both of his uh, passport though. He's American too. Uh, ah, oh, so yeah. he's probably yeah. So there you go. He's, no, I think he's somewhere in Michigan. He just had a little girl. Okay. And, uh, um, yeah. But, yeah, he's a good player, too. You guys had a good yeah, team. Good. You guys had some gamers. And then that other little centerman that bet against his team in Denmark, he was good. Mozienko, yeah. Mozienko. Yeah, yeah. He, that guy could buzz around. He, like, yeah, he can say. Whatever happened to Denmark happened. But, like, that guy, when it came to game time, he was a gamer. That guy played he was, hard. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was a hard nose all game, every game. Yeah. You know? Little bugger buzzing around. Yeah, exactly. So then, okay, so we're getting down to it here. Decision to leave Sheffield. So that was, how does it, you play four years, you become the king of Sheffield. Yeah, it was time. It was time to leave. You know, that's all. Uh, I was still, have, I, I still had a year in my contract too when I left. Do you know who Barry Baguette is? I know the Barry Baguette it's sitting in the corner there. Uh, and not and, and he like I got a picture of you with him and he's dressed as a king for you. Yeah, I saw that. That was great, great <laughs> picture. No, I, I think the baguette kind of sh- I think might have show up the last year I was there. Like I don't think it was there every year, but I think he showed up the baguette the year the yeah. last last of my four years. Yeah. Well, he's uh, supporting the cause at the Sheffield Arena with his legs and egg shirt now. So yeah, that's I cool. saw that picture. <laughs> I saw that picture too. <laughs> I think the whole thing is so funny that people I are like it. Yeah, oh man, good. it makes me so that's happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so 2018, 19, you don't play. So then you get recovered. <laughs> yeah. What was your job? What were you doing? I was a salesman at Harley Davidson. I was selling bike motorcycles. Really? Yeah. That doesn't uh, sound was, like that bad of a gig. No, it was real good. But like I said, I was uh so it's mainly my commission. Town, yeah, it was great. Money. Everything was great. It just, uh, I don't know. The winter time was real tough. You don't sell, it was my, like I said, minus 40. You don't sell a lot of bikes. Summertime is great, but you work. But then you work a ton in summer when you want to have exactly. fun. Exactly. Exactly. You work in the weekend, like you work at night, you know, you work a lot. Uh, it, it was all great. But again, my daughter showed up, man. It, it just brought me a lot of, uh, I always want to play and my one of my kids to see me play and I oh yeah and I felt like I've still got it I still can play you know and so I was yeah, like you can. might as well you know so I was like why not man why look, there'll be you, job there waiting for me you know I yeah no it's uh it's a weird it's a weird world but like there's only a certain window in your life where you can yeah. be a hockey player there's a lot yeah. of time after to do other shit <laughs> mm-hmm. but right? the funniest thing I, I remember when i was young when i was 20 and 22 and i was looking at a guy who was 35 years old i was like what are you doing man? like why are you still playing you know but i'm here i am i'm the 35 years old now and i'm still playing i'll play until i i can you know I'll, i just love it man. well if i was if i had a team i'd sign you until you didn't want to to <laughs> <laughs> but seriously that. like uh I, I like there's some guys you play against and like the I guess the reason teams win I find mm-hmm. is like there's guys that get what it takes to win and I bet you it's from the small mining community up north there but then it's also losing twice in junior with really good teams that like it just burned in you yeah. you're like I've never won and then when you played it was just like 
I'll do anything because it's when you lose my first two years pro, we lost in the finals both years. And man, when we finally won my third year, I yeah. really blew the doors off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah. Like you said, you know, when you're so close to have it and you don't, man, it, it, it's right there. All in your oh. mind. And, and you then you see it, how you know. happy they were on the ice oh, and it just worst. kills you. It's the worst. Yeah. It's the worst. You, you want to be on the other side. That's for sure. Well, so then that's how, but then like you play against guys and you're like, well, that guy's a winner. That guy knows what it takes mm-hmm. to win. And like, I saw it in Sheffield. It pissed me off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then I, then like, I don't know what you had done before. And then like, as soon as I put up your coming on salt, it's like Kelly cup champion. And I'm like, yeah. well, that makes sense. Cause yeah. gamers win. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. So then you leave, you go there. So then, that's when you yeah. do go to Glasgow, but that's with Fitzy as the coach. So Fitzy signs you, yeah. which you have yeah. played with in Sheffield. Yeah, yeah, we did play together for what two or three years in Sheffield. Uh, so then he knows what you do, and that's why yeah, he, he does. Yeah, there. he does big time. Uh, yeah, but he, he he got thrown out as a coaching. You know, I I don't think it was it was everything happened quick for everyone for me for him. Um, because he a had just pe- been playing, right? And then he went like, yeah, exactly. Like being the Straight. head coach and like recruiting a team and the whole deal. Exactly. Right? It's probably, it must be tough, right? You're just oh, a friend to I, everyone. Now you're just on the other side. I couldn't imagine. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. It was hard to find a job, man. It was hard to find a job because uh, everyone thought every, my, my wrists were done, blah, blah, blah. Because, so, you know, yeah, yeah. So, because you take a year off, it was just hard to, it's have just like, oh, this, yeah. Oh, this guy is done. His wrists are done. Can't play anymore. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, my wrists are fine, man. I, I didn't quit because of my wrist. You know, I it was time to leave. You know. Yeah. So uh, no, I was like, are you in shape? I am in shape. You know, it's just it, it, sometime a, a year off. It's, I I don't say it's a good best thing to do, but for me, it happened to be. You know, I, uh, and the, and the weird, it's just the timing for you that you did it before. You, everybody kind of had to, right? It's like, yeah, yeah. As I've heard talk to guys that said, like a year off with the whole bullshit was like it helped their body because of all the dang mm-hmm. stuff, right? And like yeah. I remember how beaten down I'd be after a season, and it'd oh, be man, like, yeah. you need a month or two. Mm-hmm. just to feel normal and then it's like well how do you make all these gains for the next season yeah when you don't even recover for a month or yeah. two from the last one right mm-hmm. exactly that's a big reason too when the covid hit and all that thing we're almost at that point that i had to play because i only played 30 games the year before i, I like i actually didn't play for a year play for 34 in glasgow and i was like i can't unlo- i can't go off another full year you know, yeah. if I want to still play. Yeah. So that's, you know, so when Kalamazoo, like, full, I was like, man, like, I'm in trouble now. I need to so, find a So place you were to play. going to the coast in Kalamazoo. And yeah, that I was, mean, and and that's, like, not even guaranteed, right? Like, you're going there. You don't know what's going It's not. Happen. You never know. The coast is just a week-to-week contract, right? It's a, but uh, Kalamazoo is Western Michigan. Great city. Great yeah, place. yeah. No, I had a good uh, – a good talk with the coach there and he know what I was bringing to the team and all that, you know, but, uh, in my head, in my head, it's like U S will be the only place that will be hockey this year. So that's why I wanted to sign there right away, you know, during that COVID. So I signed in Kalamazoo and ended up that, that, that team didn't play that, you know? but then other teams did. And that, like, exactly. what a mess it would have been. It would have been just like oh. a lockout, man. The lot, the lockouts were awful for so many guys. Yeah. Whether you were an NHL guy trying to be an NHL guy, whether you were in the second league in Germany, and then they bring over mm-hmm. all these NHL guys, or like it was once they realized there was going to be a lockout, the guys like me stopped getting signed because they're like, let's sign NHL players till Christmas. Yeah, of course. And then yeah. come Christmas, we'll just bring in like the actual guys. guys. And uh, mm-hmm. and it's like, well, how's this a team? How, how do you win championships yeah, no. doing that shit? No, it's not good at all. Not no. good. But pretty, yeah, pretty sure no. the teams that won the championship that year, folks, did not bring in NHL players. No, no. Just thinking out loud. <laughs> <laughs> but the NHL players need to play too, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Okay, so then Glasgow gets shut down mid-season. You're yeah. enjoying it. You like it, but then yeah. it's then all the crap happens. So then you're like, I gotta play Knoxville yeah. Ice Bears. 
What's that? Yeah, yeah. Where's no- Knoxville? Is nice, baby. The pro- best city I played in pro hockey. Really? Yeah. yeah. Where? So Nox- Knoxville is lot Knoxville, Tennis- Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, that was a nice place. It's right on the campus of that big university there. Uh, man, they have great fans there. They, is that right? I don't know how they don't have a coast team. They probably because they they don't have to pay guys too much, right? So they're just making bank right now. But it's such it's a great it's, place. To play so they at. probably have a ton of fans. They don't have to pay guys much, and exactly they're like, why exactly. would we go to the coast? <laughs> why? Why? I'm making money right now. You know, the crowds sold out every game. It's good hockey. So especially that year during that COVID thing, there's only five teams in that league. So it was, it was pretty much the East Coast Hockey League. Every every player would play in the coast before, you know. It was just no one could find a job, so they all went there. It all trickles down. Yeah. Especially yeah. me as a vet, as a vet too, it's hard to find a spot in the coast when the season starts, you know. Does a Southern all- Pro have like a vet thing? Yeah, and I, I still can't believe I played. I was able to find a job there because you only allowed three vets. But between the three vets, you only allow 900 games pro. <laughs> Come on. Because yeah. they're trying and, to keep their costs down. They're, they're yeah, saving. Me. <laughs> they're making those rules so they won't pay players, so they know that yeah, they exactly. keep making money. <laughs> <laughs> and me, only me, I was close to nine, 800 games myself. So I was taking 800 games myself. Just for and they still gave it, it to you. Yeah, they did. We there was no no vet that year, so I was I was just a lock lock. Oh uh, yeah, pure no, luck I, to be able to. Go I there. find uh, I when like you know you get older, a little bit wiser, yeah. and you start looking at the business side of things. Yeah. And then like when I got to the AHL, there were literally there had to have been seven or eight guys that were like, they were vets. There was eight of them yeah. and they had just brought mm-hmm. in the rule that only five could play. So we had uh-huh. three dudes sitting out that were making bank bank I know. in the AHL. And I was like, you have three extra dudes. But then before that rule came in, they were actually trying to win in the AHL. They were like teams. They were like guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They were trying to bring in teams to win the best players they could. Yeah. And then the owners are like, well, we're spending too much money in the AHL. Let's make a vet rule, right? Mm. And then all of a sudden, it, the That's whole where thing it comes changes. From. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, man, that well, makes sense, solid. right? Mm-hmm. You are. And, uh, <laughs> folks, I, I, if anybody's still listening, it's now 7.20 a.m., and I haven't talked about any of the stuff, right? Aleshockeytales.com. We got a Matt Sundin signed jersey. Up for raffle. Um, I know it's not a Sheffield or Glasgow or Cardiff jersey, <laughs> but the Maple Leafs are a pretty good team too, folks. So if you want to buy a raffle ticket for that, there's only like a week left. And um, what else do we got going on? Matt Carruth just put up a, a stick that he'll sign or the whole team, whatever you're into, folks. And a game-worn jersey. It even smells like him while he was playing. So whatever you want to do with that, right? And my new idea is I'm going to wear this jersey for a bit. I'll spill beers on it. I'll do all sorts of stuff. And then I'm going to raffle it off. <laughs> <laughs> so then it's like a game-worn jersey, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> that's good. So that's at aleshockeytails.com. Please join the raffles or buy your legs and egg shirts. You can even personalize them. You can get WA15 on the back. Why is your number? Ooh. Okay. Why is 16 15? involved in your life? Oh my! Well, major triple A in for in I must. I was sixteen for the two years. That was my number. I always wanted to be sixteen. And I got drafted in junior. Show up at training camp, and fifteen was in my lock. I couldn't even choose my number, so I stuck with fifteen for the rest of forever. a couple of years now. Forever, wow. yeah. For a couple of years it, now. When yeah, you sent me your email, I was like sixteen. Yeah, so it's my same email since. When I was 15 years old. So that's that's why 16 is there. Yeah. You were in but, Sheffield for four years. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah. we're gonna need an eleven and a fifteen in the crowd, eh? Or up in the thing. Uh, yeah. You yeah. gotta stop playing first though, eh? Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I can I would like to have mine in, in Everblades before though. You know? Oh well, huh. that's my that's one of my uh I, that's, I, well, that, yeah, that's I your honey so. hole, your nice. Kelly. Yeah, cup, it is, yeah. I captain. Think, uh, so you yeah. were like the new Ernie Hartleap? 
No, I, no one's gonna beat Ernie. No one's gonna beat Ernie. But you I got just close. Wanna, eh? I just want to. I just want a little be, piece right? of the pie. Yeah, yeah a little just, piece I just want to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool though, man. Because uh, that was like a team in the coast that like everybody dreams of playing for. Like when I was yeah. in Dayton, I when I was like, if I'm gonna play in the coast, like that's where you want to go. Florida. You're you're yeah. gonna win. You get to live on the beach. You're like yeah. guys care about hockey because they're yeah. right. You, like. It's the place to be, right? It is. It is. That's. I think that's why a lot of teams are coming down south now. Orlando's got a team. Jacksonville's got a team. Savannah's gonna have a team next year, and like all those places are nice place to live, man. Like, right? Real good place. Yeah. Yeah. No. It. it I think. Yeah. Fun times. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then, uh, the Knoxville Ice Bears. Did you guys play a yeah. full season? How'd you do? No, we. I show up there in February, so I play like twenty games, maybe or something. Right. Like, um around 20 it was just a five it was a five team league uh the playoff was the best of three never heard of that before uh the final been, straight to the final to germany yet <laughs> yeah i know so uh, yeah it was just uh it was fun to play you know it's a good hockey good good pace and, and all and that you were uh, playing you you were having fun getting yeah, to yeah, do what you pl- want yeah i was playing exactly that was the main goal for me to play i met i met some great guys too i, I was able to bring a guy in five and uh, Benson, one of the kid I really enjoy to play with over there. He's in five now, but uh, uh, he, he he wanted to come here so bad, you know. And the IHL is like, yeah, it's a good league. Now he's here, so it it, it it's a good thing. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, mm-hmm. the other guy from your team now that I still need to have on was Haywood. He's a confirmed yeah, yeah. Tread guy, and then I got sidetracked yeah. after the group chat when he couldn't make it. Time change, you yeah. know. Time change is a bit. Oh yeah, he's a he's a. Like you say, he's the mayor of Glasgow. Has been there for what eleven? I find years it now. interesting. All the shed guys seem to be mayors of towns. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or, or kings. <laughs> you just get the old one. That's why. Get yeah. the old guy. <laughs> I bet you now, like talking to my friends in my shed, I wouldn't have ever guessed this because you know you growing up as a kid and you see retired uh-huh. jerseys in the crowd yeah. and like you see all the shit and you're like, wow, like you imagine someday. And then you start bringing dudes out to your shed. And I bet Mm -hmm. you I've had eight retired jerseys in the shed now. Oh, nice. Yeah. And it's like, these are my buddies. That's how old I am. Yeah, no, that's great. (laughs) Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. You're not. Because we're going to have Mars bars scatter the ice on Saturday night. Yeah, Right? Yeah, yeah. After a big win. Is that what they did in Sheffield after the win? You you only throw them on the ice if you win, folks. Just so you know, Purple Army. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and if if they lose, which I doubt they will, no, um, we, no for Mars for Mars Bar we win. For Mars sure, Bars, right? you'll yeah. win, I would think. But you, if if they lost, you just let that melt in your pocket. Just leave <laughs> it there. Don't throw it on the ice. We don't want it. Not for anything. We only celebrate Good. wins in the shed, right? <laughs> exactly. Just so winning. Saturday night, Mars. So Mars for Matthew for Saturday yeah, Mars night. Mars for Matthew. I'm I'm up for it. What's, what's, your, what's your daughter's name? Adeline. Adeline. Mars for Mars. Matthew and Adeline. There we go. Right? Make That'd it happen, slogan. Purple Army. I know you, <laughs> you, I don't know many of you. Sorry. Didn't get up to Glasgow much. Bad refing up there. Is the refing still that bad up there? <laughs> it's the same crew that when you used to play that. Is it really? So, like when Cardiff comes up, they're like, nah, penalty. Uh, Sorry. It's, it's, yeah. So yeah, when you were with Shed, really, eh? Yeah, same. Mm. A couple of new guys, right? But yeah, cruise around. Yeah, no. So then, mm. when, would you get a little frustrated when you played for Sheffield and you get up to Glasgow? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it but was now, you, now you like them. Now they're on. Now yeah, they're on our side. Yeah, uh, yes and no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. I just remember a couple calls. That's all. Uh, uh-huh. Probably cost us two points each season. <laughs> <laughs> Ah <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what else I got for you. What do you got going on today? I don't know. Day off today. Got a oh. game on Wednesday against Cardiff. First time this year. So try to rest the body. You haven't played them once? No, no. Well, when they came here, but we we uh we didn't go to Sheffield yet. Uh Cardiff, sorry. Okay, so, they did go first, there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we didn't go there yet. So. Okay, well, uh, you might see, yeah, who knows, see what happens in the game. You might see Twix, yeah. you might see Buenos, but yeah. I do know Saturday night we'll probably see some bars, right? I would like to have your buddy in that too. 
I would like to score goals. Yeah, I would like to score a few goals against them. It'd be nice. Keepers. Well, that's up yeah. to the coach. I don't make those decisions. Yeah, I know. But I, I, know. Will, I, I want him to play every night, too. <laughs> they, they put they put his buddy in the last two games against us. So. Really? Is yeah. that what they think of you guys? Yeah. Oh, so I, I know. That's, say that. Well, we'll see. Uh, the other guy's good, too, though. Like, they got yeah, two import good. goalies. So, I mean, yeah, I know. different they're than good. having Bouncy. <laughs> Really, like yeah. that's I know that they was, got two imports in net when you could have like and Bouncy was no imports, so I know it's crazy. Yeah, it's a totally different yeah. setup. For different. Yeah, it is it changed the whole thing for sure. Yeah, well, it's it's weird, right? Because Bouncy would just play every game. Now he I'm like, playing. now I'm like all excited for Buenos for the boys, and then I look and I'm like, yeah. Max not playing. Yeah, it's like, not playing. Yeah, huh? Cool way to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah, Wednesday. the other guy's good too. Other guy's good, good too. Yeah. I'm a Devils yeah, fan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm also a big <laughs> Matt Carruth fan. And you yeah, can buy his good. shirt at aleshockeytails.com. There you go. Just put the name on the back or WA15. You Sheffield fans or Glasgow fans, you'll be walking around the rink with a two ales and hockey tails shirt hoodie with WA15 on the back. There or, you go. or instead of WA, you know what you could write? The King. 15 <laughs> you know what i mean i can't wait till you show up to a game and there's a guy at the cr- at the glass with the king 15 and sheffield showing yeah, it to we'll you see. i bet you it'll happen we'll see. Uh, i don't know we'll see okay be nice i would be nice right? <laughs> um you got anything else before we shut her down no man i want to thank you for reaching out to me it's great you know uh i think wow. you've been doing great you've been doing a great job reaching out at this uh level here in the ihl a lot of people uh follow you it's great man but uh, dude Bring, i uh, i respect the dudes i played against that uh i guess were competitors that mm-hmm. you know five years ago i probably wouldn't have wanted to talk to you uh yeah. at all that's, but you know you, goes, you, right? you, you, you you grow up and you're like you know you're not so heated about it anymore and you're yeah. like yeah <laughs> it's it, it was all for fun and we had a great time yeah. and have fun Great playing memories. as long as you can, man, and I do will. it as long as you I can. Will. And the way you play, though, I don't understand why anybody thinks you would really age that badly. Like, I know the body yeah. might hurt a bit, but that's up yeah. to you to deal with. It's all here, man. It's all here. It's all in the head. And the way you yeah. play, like, mm-hmm. you never skated that fast. It's not like you're losing your step, right? Like, you're still doing I'm your sick. thing. I, yeah, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm not fast. I, it's just, it's exactly. over. It's like, you know, like, I don't we need all, we all <laughs> are who we are, right? Be yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> and what you do is not skating fast. I don't, I didn't see no. you beat anybody wide. <laughs> oh man, you should see me this year. Do I, have, I don't know what's going on. I got some speed this year. Is though. that I, right? I, you I, get some yeah. 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 Or what? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> ah, well folks, if That's you feel good. like tipping the pod, it's now seven 28 AM. I'm going to go get the kids ready for school. And then I'm going to be back online to work at 8 a.m. So everybody have a great Monday. This is how I like to start my Mondays. So if you think I got issues, you're probably right. And this has been (laughs) another episode of two ales and hockey tales with Roisy and Wally.